My wife asked me to make a planter box for our front porch. It is 42 inches wide by 15 inches. It is 8 inches deep for the soil and overall it is 14 inches tall. I made it using six of these fence pickets and a bunch of screws and some glue. I started by setting a stop block at 16 inches and cut the bottoms off of all six pickets using my miter saw. I took three of the remaining pieces and cut them at 39 inches. That left me with three 19 inch boards. So I reset the stop block at 13 inches and cut those three down to size. I then cut eight more at this length to use for the bottom. After setting the table saw blade to the proper height, I ripped four of the legs at two and a half inches. That way when they're put together, each side of the leg will be three inches wide. With the fence still set at two and a half inches, I ripped one of the 13 inch boards into two two and a half inch wide strips, and one of the 39 inch boards into two two and a half inch strips. These will be used on the sides and the ends. I wanted the center legs to match the end legs, so I readjusted the fence and ripped them down to size. With the stop block still set at 13 inches, I readjusted my miter saw to 45 degrees and trimmed the feet on the center legs. While I was ripping the last remaining picket, it popped apart and warped all to hell. It's a good thing that I always buy an extra board for every project. I ripped the new picket into two two and a half inch wide strips. I then cut them at 45 degrees on my miter saw and made two 41 inch lengths and two 15 inch lengths. When I assembled the legs, I made sure to make two left ones and two right ones. I put them together using wood glue, one and a half inch brads, and clamps. Next, I put a chamfer on the outside edges of all six legs. I also put the same chamfer on all the pieces for the sides and for the bottom. I'm hoping that the chamfers on the bottom pieces will allow for proper water drainage.
I started with the shorter ends to make sure that all those boards that I cut at 13 inches would fit properly. I also made sure that the 3 inch wide part of the leg were facing out. I then glued, pre-drilled, and countersunk all the boards. I used 1 inch drywall screws because I couldn't find any coated screws short enough. Next I attach the boards for the front and back sides, following the same methods as before. I marked the middle of the side and the middle of the center leg so that I could properly align them. I applied some glue, lined up the leg, and clamped it in place. I then pre-drilled and screwed them together. I installed the other leg using the same method. I built a frame for the top using those miter pieces that I cut earlier. I glued, nailed, and stapled them together. I forgot to mention that I sanded the legs, sides, and top frame to 120 grit before I assembled them. I then applied some light cherry stain to the carcass. I attached the top frame using glue, clamps, and brads. I left this part unstained so I could have some contrast. I used a cheap 3 inch brush and coated the inside with indoor outdoor spar urethane. I applied it on the outside using a 2 inch foam brush. The whole planter received 2 heavy coats. I put 3 coats on the top.
I put it on really, really heavy for the bottom boards. Twice. I attached the bottom pieces with the chamfers facing up. I pre-drilled and screwed them in using inch and a half deck screws. No glue. You can find more details on this project on my website at funwithwoodworking.com. You can also find a link to my website and a link for the SketchUp file of this project in the description below. Thanks for watching.